so i was i was i was pretty much normal guy from a small town father was a government employee okay and believe me i had no clue what i'm going to do with my life i had no clue what i'm going to do with my life i was going to school why because society tells you to go to school i used to go to school to play cricket to meet my friends and come back okay and eat at home go to play cricket again come back home watch tv and sleep that was life my mother always used to tell me are you living in the hotel or a house because you come back only to eat and sleep so i was like this till my graduation i had no clue what am i going to do after this right i was doing graduation because everyone does it i don't know why till date i'm I, i'm not able to figure out right i have had no clue what after graduation my father used to tell me all the time you know in my last year on the dining table kuch socha hai kya karne wale ho aage you know and i said i don't know i don't know believe me but those were the best days happy go lucky koi chinta nahi this i was i was at my best okay and i had no clue what i'm going to do with my life right and my self image was not very high oh i can do everything actually my self image was like if i'm going in the colony and if two aunties are looking at me so my self image was ki pakka ye soch rahe hain ki our kids should not meet him actually right otherwise they will get spoiled actually that was my self image about myself that was my self image because every time at home i used to get scoldings only padhai nahi karte ho na layak ho this that and all that right okay so that was my self image and i was not knowing what i can do in life i was not even knowing but then in final year because my father was about to retire in next 5 years some maturity came in i said kuch to karna padega but what to do i don't know right so i decided to i you know long story short cut karke bolta hu i went for mba and all that okay and then by the time i understood that you know, asking for money from parents is not good so i wanted a job immediately right why not for big dreams i was not even knowing what am i going to do in life but just because i don't want to ask money from my parents so i look for jobs in final year itself fortunately not one not two i got three jobs three jobs from campus itself one was pharmaceutical second was fmcg and third was uh, titan watches all three big companies but fmcg used to be a dream job that time so i said okay so my offer was some unilever okay hindustan unilever which is one of the biggest fmcg company so they hired me as a management trainee i said okay fine i'll go and work there i don't know what i am supposed to do i don't know kya karna hai wahan pe jaake i'm a management trainee which means i will rotate in different functions for 6 months after 6 months confirmation will happen and they will give me the actual role right but how does it matter even if they tell me to sweep the floor i'll do that because i need salary right i still remember my first salary was 6025 indian rupees 6025 but what happened they posted me on day 1 in mumbai that was a life changing moment for me now mumbai again i'm not exaggerating but any one of you have not lived in mumbai right and not worked there okay please go and work there work there for 2 years okay with less salary travel in the train okay you will you will actually get to know who you are so when there's no other choice actually right and there i got to know that i am not a quitter because two guys who joined with me they quit they left the job and left they said we cannot handle this train journey and all that right okay because they had elder brothers who were already working but i had no choice because my father was already about to retire in next 3 years right so i learned how to enter in the train how to get down from a train and now people must be wondering what's the big deal in getting into a train and getting down from a train right but no it's 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 like every day maxing out actually right it's like every day maxing out right okay because and you have to follow the system if you don't follow the system okay you will not be inside the train you will be under the train actually right you know so when we when we tell you that follow the system here the consequences of not following the system is not too bad right you don't die but there you die so from there exactly i learned to follow the systems in life actually right if i don't follow the system i will die 
you know so mumbai local follows on the system actually right you know there are sops before entering in the local you have to put the bag in front and then on your marks get set go and then suddenly you have to go and you know stick to the wall so that other people will not take you other side i don't like this i will stand in the middle right or i don't like this this is not okay right like many people start the business and they come and take the liberty to comment on the system actually right correct no no i don't like this why i have to do like this why i have to do that like that right why because and from there started growing and all that in 10 years i was a vice president with the company okay nine and a half year rather right and that is a time i started thinking that this is not something which i ever wanted to do for all my life because bank balance was still zero right designations were growing you know but again loans were growing in fact more insecure because before there was no loans now with higher position you commit more also right so i said no i don't want to do this but what to do don't know what to do don't know and that is a time i started thinking that i must do something wherein if required i'll give blood and sweat but not for all life maybe for 5 to 6 years i should be i should get something wherein i will give my blood and sweat but after 5 6 years it should work for me rather than i have to work for that thing actually right so after 5 6 years i should have a choice of not working for compulsion actually right i may work for passion which i'm doing today right but not for compulsion right okay and that's what exactly was was i was asking from a god right i was knowing that this is not possible from a from a job this is not possible from a traditional business also right because i saw my uncles and all traditional business 60 years also still cannot leave the business right correct job obviously if i go and tell my boss boss i'll give 40 year work in 4 years can you give me uh, you know 40 year salary in 4 years my boss will tell me if you get it tell me also i'm also looking for a long time actually right correct so that's that was the case and as we say when you ask for something from a god from your heart he gives it back to you right so before i was asking for a job he gave me a job then after that i was asking for a better job he gave me a better job then another job another job then promotion promotion for 9 years i was asking for a temporary solution right when i asked for a permanent solution he gave me, he gave me this business right correct when this business came in my life i was only looking for something which can take me out of a job and give me enough time and money that's it, right i was not knowing how many zeros come in millions i was not knowing how much is max out money i was not even knowing the compensation plan also right i was only knowing the hope that i don't have to work for all my life and i still can earn money that was a hope right how much money i was not knowing because the person who got me into the business he himself was not knowing the plan actually right but there was a hope that yes there is a chance if i work hard okay there is a chance that i don't need to work for all my life it can run on its own and i can do along with a job that's how i started right but from day one i was excited i never started with the skepticism you know i'm not a, i'm not a skeptic person at all i'm a believer okay i'm a believer i believe in everything actually right i don't like to comment negative on anything okay and that's how my wiring is being done actually by god thank god okay and this is working in my favor for so many years right okay so i said okay when i saw the plan after one week after starting after one week in the system i saw wow so much of money okay and this is simple let me do it and i started doing the business obviously in the beginning no result nothing actually struggled for one year but still i was excited for one year you know why even i was not making that much of money because i was knowing at least i have something in my hand which is giving me a hope to get out of this rat race right correct many people come in the business they try for one month they try for two month they try for they talk to 10 people and then they go inside the gadda actually right they go inside the pit and they start feeling that oh it's not working let me go back to the same life and all that actually right i don't know why i was not like that i was thinking it's okay if it not if it is growing slow 5 instead of 5 years it will be 8 years what's the problem right correct 
and i started loving doing the business right okay second year suddenly it started taking off third year i crossed my first million fourth year i moved to dubai actually right okay after coming to dubai also you know ferrari bmw one house two house three house so many houses and all then i started kuwait this that you know multiple countries and the the million become multiple 